If your system contains ductwork, mechanical equipment, air terminals, and accessories, that means you can place tags as well. Tags are used to relay information about that duct to the person reading your drawings. In Revit, however, we do not use simple pieces of dumb text because text is dumb. If we add text and the duct changes, the text is suddenly wrong. If we add a tag, we are adding a component that is reading the duct and it will change the display if and when the duct changes. In the project browser, under mechanical HVAC, let's make sure we're in ceiling plan level one. Let's zoom in on this area right here. I guess I'll tag a diffuser first. There's a tag icon right here on your quick access toolbar, but also if you go to annotate, you can also click tag by category. It's the same icon. So let's click tag by category. Now, I want to hover over this air terminal then it says 250 CFM. I want a leader, but instead of attached end, I want to go with free end. I'm going to pick this diffuser. Pick a point here. Then I'll pick a point right there and hit escape a couple times. Let's select our tag. I'm going to change just a couple things about it. So it's a diffuser tag. Let's click edit type. Let's give it a leader arrowhead of filled 15 degrees. Click apply and click OK. Now let's select the actual air terminal. What is this number two? We know what the 250 CFM is, but number two seems kind of odd. So let's scroll down in our properties until we find the mark. It's number two. I'd rather call it something different like D1. Click apply. All right, let's select this, the mark. I want it to be D2. If you right click your tag, create similar, it's a free end, point there. Suddenly, this is the correct air terminal. Tag this one, point there. Notice that if we select our terminal, these items turn blue, so we can click into here. We can call that D3, right? Let's tag this one here. Running out of room. This will be D4. One more. Select this, right click, create similar. Plenty of room for this one. And this wants to be D5. There we go. Perfect. Now let's tag our AHU unit right here. Click on Tag by Category. Select our unit. Pick a point here. Pick a point here. Pick a point here. Don't really like that, so select your mechanical equipment. Let's change our tag to AHU-1. Hit enter. Kind of close to that leader, so I'm gonna drag this out. I'm gonna grab my grip here. And I also wanna add an arrowhead to this. So I'm gonna click edit type. My leader arrowhead, I will click arrow filled 15 degrees. Click apply, click okay. Now we're getting it. Let's tag our ductwork. Let's click the tag icon again. This time let's uncheck leader. And let's hover over our ductwork and notice that if we place a tag right here, it's 14 by 14, which of course is 356 by 356 millimeters. Select your tag though. I don't like that it masks the background out. Notice if we click edit type, we can add a leader arrowhead, but that's about it. So select your tag and let's click Edit Family. Select where it says Size. Now what I wanna do is I want to click on Edit Type. Let's make it transparent. Let's make the width factor 0.8. Make it a little smaller and make it so it doesn't obscure the duct. Now let's load that back into the project. Let's overwrite the existing version. Yeah, that fits a lot better. 
select your tag, right click, create similar. And you'll see that you can use it pretty much everywhere. If it's a diameter, it's gonna label it. And of course, we can add a leader, a free end. Pick a spot here, come down to here, pick a spot here, and it's gonna flip into the right direction. It doesn't look like it's gonna, but it does. Six by six, select your tag, click edit type. I'm gonna add an arrow filled 15 degrees. Click apply, then okay. We can pull this out of it just a little bit. So there you go. That's how you annotate a plan.